I did a video about formal greetings in the lawyer language and today I'm bringing you a video about informal greetings. Formal greetings are the ones that you use like good morning, good afternoon, good evening, which is wishere, kesidere, wahera. And informal greetings are the ones that you can say like hi, hello, what's up, uh, what are you doing, what's the news, any news, things like that. So that is what I'm going to be teaching you today. I am Doreen Nekesa, if you're meeting this place for the first time, and on this channel, I teach people how to speak Luya language of Western Kenya, specifically the Marachi dialect, which is one of the many sub-dialects of the Luya language in Western Kenya, Africa. So if this sounds interesting to you, you want to subscribe so that you don't miss out on more amazing content on this channel. Let's get into the video. So, the first and commonest informal greeting in Luya land, especially in Marachi language, is Orie. Orie, that is the most commonest. Actually, when people meet and maybe they are, um, they are age mates, they just greet each other Orie, like my brothers, my sisters, we greet Orie. But I would rarely greet my mom Orie unless it's in a formal, informal setup. Usually, Orie is from the... Um, People who are age mates, you can't greet an elder or in loyal and that would be that would be very disrespectful. So or somebody tells you or you answer malai. Or the response is malai or hurire. The word hurire means I have feared you. So or is like how are you? How are you? Hi, hello. So you answer malai or you can say Hurire, like I have feared you. <laughs> Sometimes answering Hurire is usually hilarious, but you answer Hurire or Malai. In most cases, people answer Malai. Another informal greeting in Marashi Luya land is Ovolasi. Ovolasi. Like directly translated as, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? So Ovolasi, the response is Dimulam. Or you can say ovolasi malai. Ovolasi malai. Or you can say sinduda. Malai or sinduda. Sinduda means nothing. Like I have nothing to say. Malai means all is good. Ovolasi in English is like WhatsApp. If we translate. But if we directly translate it is what are you saying? You get it. So direct translation kind of distorts its original meaning. So next we have... Makeni, Makeni, it's a question. Makeni, any news? Makeni, any news? So if somebody asks you Makeni, you just say, if you have the news, of course you tell them, but if you do not have the news, then you just tell them, see in dollar dawe, see in dollar dawe, like I can't see the news, or kaumau, or kavlao, meaning there is no news, there is nothing new. So Makeni, Kaumau or Makeni Sindola Dawe. So that is just any news. If there is news, you say if there is no news, then there is no news. Then next we have Vulamvurie. Vulamvurie. So this one is directly translated as how is life? Are you okay? How is are you are you in good health? Are you all good? Vulamvurie. And then you respond, Nivulaisa. Vulamvurie Nivulai. How is, how is life? Life is good. If it's not good, of course, you're free to say that it's not good. And you have to always give the reason why it's not good. <laughs> if you're enjoying the video up to this point, kindly give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And you can subscribe if you like the content of this channel. The next one is Wavolaho. Wavolaho. Like, tell me. Wavolaho. So you can say wavolaho ao. Ao means there. Like you, you're being told, you're being asked to there, like where you are. Wavolaho ao. Wavolaho. You say malai. Malai. And you can also respond and say muno. Or you can say muno muno. Wavolaho malai. Wavolaho muno. So wavolaho is like, how are you? 
kind of like that. Another one is muhesibwa. Muhesibwa. Muhesibwa, like you're being greeted. That is directly translated. You're being greeted, like we greet you. Muhesibwa. And then you say malai or muno muno. Malai or muno muno. Muhesibwa, malai or muno muno. That is the response. And that one is just like I greet you. I greet you. Muhesibwa is in plural, like you are being greeted like in plural, muhesiwa. If it is one person, it is ohesiwa. That is, you are being greeted. You as a person, one, you're being greeted. The next one is mbolera. Mbolera. Mbolera is, tell me. Talk to me. Mbolera. Malai, you can say muno, you can say sindudawe. So, sindudawe means there is nothing. That I can tell you. Mbolera is tell me. So the response is sinduda muno muno malai. So if you say sinduda, it means there is nothing to say. And then there is this other informal greeting that you greet people when they are working. So if you find people working maybe on a piece of land on, on the, in the field or at home they are working, then you tell them mwedinye. That means you are encouraging those people to continue working, that they are doing a good job. Keep working, you're doing a good job. That is the directly translated word in English. And then the, those people you're greeting will say, That is, And then we have this one, Wendelea orie. And the response is, Yendelea vlai. Yendelea vlai. There are those who say, Otsirira orie. Otsirira orie. And then you say, Zirira vlai. And that one in English is, How is the going? How is the going? How are you faring on? How is the going? Okay? If you have any questions about any informal greeting that you want to know, you can let me know in the comment section below and you can add more informal greetings in the Luya language that I didn't mention in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then you can give it a like and you can also subscribe if you want to get more of these videos recommended to you. I recommend this video here to you so that if you didn't watch the video about the formal greetings in Luya land, then watch that video there and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.